Hi everyone, Dutch Reefer here and welcome to the latest Focus Friday video. Today's subject will be mushroom corals and uh, I'll give you a quick uh, look through my tank and show you the various mushroom corals that I have in my tank. But first, let's discuss them a little bit. So mushroom corals are uh, a very easy to keep kind of coral, uh, which uh, you can get in a lot of different species, a lot of different shapes, a lot of different colors. So it's a very uh, wide spectrum of various mushroom corals that you can, uh, can acquire. And uh, the fun thing is, is that they grow quite easily and uh, they're not very uh, hard to keep. So you can keep them in uh, almost any tank. If you have a, a small nano tank, you will definitely be able to keep them. And if you have a very big uh, tank with a lot of nutrients, not a problem at all. If you have a low nutrient system, they will also do fine. So they're not a demanding coral and they uh, don't require any direct feeding. Although, though some of them uh, might uh, ingest uh, small uh, species of food, uh, but they don't require it. They uh, survive mainly on light, and uh, yeah, that's what make them uh, what makes them quite easy to keep. And if you combine that with the beautiful colors and shapes you can uh, get them in, for me, uh, they're easily one of the one of the most fun corals to keep because they are very rewarding and they. Uh, they're not, uh, if you make a small mistake or if there's one of your water parameters is uh, getting out of sync, then it most likely won't be a big problem for these kind of corals. So there are two main species of uh, mushroom corals that I have in my tank, which are Rhodactis and Ricordea, or Ricordia, just the way you pronounce it. Um, the difference is that uh, Rhodactis are usually a little different, yeah, they have different shapes than uh, 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 Ricordea. Ricordea are mushrooms with all kind of small bubbles on top of them. I'll give you a quick uh, zoom on one of the most uh, common uh, Ricordea uh, mushrooms that you, can, uh, that you can get. These are some of them. As you can see, these are already in different colors. So you, here you have an orange one with uh, green bubbles on the on the edges. Here you have a greenish one with a green uh, bubbles on the edges. Here's one that has also yellow bubbles inside of it. And here's a completely blue or more kind of teal uh, colored uh, Ricordea. So... Um, Mushrooms, they can uh, split in various manners. What uh, Ricordia usually do is that then uh, uh, at a certain moment you will see that uh, the very center of the mushroom coral, as you can see right here, which is bright green in this case, it will start to split up. And there's, it's a bit hard to see. Oh, you can see it on the yellow or in the orange one right here. This, this one already has three mouths. And you might wonder, hey, why does one uh, Ricordea need three mouths? Well, it doesn't. It uh, It's busy to shed itself, to split itself. Actually, there's four mouths because there is also one on top, which is a little hard to spot. So these corals typically create a new mouth and then they will start dividing itself between the mouths and then towards the edges. And then all of a sudden you have uh, two or th even three Ricordea ear. So they're, other than that, they're pretty easy to keep. They're also pretty easy to uh, to get them to multiply. Then uh, uh, Rhodactis. This is the the most beautiful species that I have in my tank. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is a Rhodactis. I think it is, but since the texture is uh, quite, uh, well, I'll, I'd say amazing, but quite special. It might also be a different uh, different kind of species, but this is also a mushroom coral, and this one creates their offspring a little bit different. It will. Um, it's hard to see because the the babies are are, are on the back of this coral, um, on the rock that you cannot see right now. But these corals typically uh, leave a bit of tissue behind on the rock, and then that tissue that they leave behind uh, will grow a new. 
a neuroductus. So also that way they multiply quite easily if you're lucky. So this is a bit on the anatomy of the mushroom coral. And I'll get, go quickly go through my tank to show you some of the species that I have. So here's a green one, an Rhodactis indonensis, as it's called. This one's actually let loose from somewhere else, similar to this one, or these two. These are very easy to keep, they grow quite fast, and you can, uh, well, you can easily uh, uh, put them somewhere, glue them somewhere, once they have uh, attached themselves to a bit of substrate, for example. So there's another one here, which is uh, it's mainly brown. Here's some as well. These are uh, have a blue center and uh, orange edges. I also like these a lot, since they have two colors. As you can see right here. Then there's two more here. Also two mushroom corals, a bright red one, which I uh, particularly like, and on top of that which is a bit hidden in the shade right here, is a green one with a nice texture. Then right here we have another uh, Ricordea. As you can see this one's quite small. It's a bit of, little hard to spot but there are also pink uh, bubbles on top of it. Right here, and this might even be harder to spot, these are uh, uh, Rhodactis as well. And these are a bit brown-yellowish with blue stripes. But since they're quite far away in the tank, as you can see here, right, this, they're a bit, a bit hard to spot. Here's a bright orange uh, Ricordea as well. Yeah, as you can see, it also has a green mouth. And right here are some more. A little differently colored. And there's another Rhodactis right here then two other uh, mushrooms that I like a lot are this uh, green one which is also uh, developing uh, bubbles on top of it it's uh, the color is really beautiful it's uh, bright green and it's uh, yeah, it's one of the eye catchers of the tank uh, when it's uh, fully extended. Right now it's not fully extended, but I think about halfway. And I really like that it's starting to get bubbly. So then there's this one. This is uh, the one that I, uh, well, I think not like most, but I think it's one of the most special ones that I have. It's, um, it, the color looks like it's gold. It's more like an orange gold and the sides are yellowish and I just really uh, like the, the way this one looks so then there's one more that I uh, also like a lot which is uh, called a uh, St. Thomas mushroom or Oscillifera is also one of the uh, names that it has it's a bit hard to spot because it's uh, surrounded by two goniopora, as you can see on the bottom and on the top. I put it there on the on one of the rocks, and it's uh, yeah, it's really taken its uh, its spot there, and it's uh, I think it's quite happy right there. As you can see, the the tentacles are a little differently shaped with uh, sharp edges. So. Now you have seen most of my uh, my mushroom corals. I hope you uh, you like them. I hope you got some inspiration. Um, like I said before, I really like these kind of corals because they're easy to keep. They they're not that expensive. Although if you look up the more rare ones, then you might pay up to I think a hundred dollars for one is the maximum price that I've seen. But you can get them starting from a few dollars for a few euros uh, a piece. Um, so they're not that expensive and they grow nicely, they look nice. So uh, I can definitely recommend keeping this coral. I know I will and I will definitely buy more in the future. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.